In the last video, we talked about a couple of advanced HIIT protocols which can really take your training to another level. In this video, I want to detail two more. The first one is fartlek. Fartlek may be just the most ridiculous sounding name for a workout, but it's actually a very useful tool, so let's not judge this particular rose by its name. In fact, fartlek actually translates directly as time play. It is so called cool because you're going to be dividing your regular cardio workouts in a manner of ways to suit your particular training goals. This way, you can combine steady state cardio with interval training and build towards a variety of different objectives at once. To explain it simply, fartlek merely means that you can choose between how you want to divide your time between sprinting, jogging, walking, and everything else in between. And it doesn't just have to be time that is the deciding factor here either. You can just as easily train so you switch speeds depending on the distance or so that you watch your heart rate. For example, a great way to improve your recovery times is to sprint for one minute and then jog gradually until your heart rate reaches 70% of your MHR again. When that happens, you increase your speed once more and then go slow until it's back at 70%. Another interesting challenge is to introduce more outside factors to make things more exciting and less predictable. For instance, keep an eye on the street lamps that you're passing. Each time you go past one, change your speed until the next one. You might sprint, jog, walk, sprint, jog, walk, or find another way to switch things up. The same thing can be achieved with a skipping rope or a kettlebell. Alternatively, you can try to jog for a distance and then sprint at the end to burn off the remaining calories and improve your lactate threshold, etc. Finally, one that I find particularly enjoyable is something I call anabolic running. Here, you simply sprint for 100 meters, walk back and then sprint the distance again. This also has the advantage of letting you perform a very intensive cardio workout without needing to travel a long distance because you don't always have the luxury of being near a beautiful scenic park and sometimes you need to stay close to home. Finally, there's Metcon. Metcon is a portmanteau for the words metabolic and conditioning. As this might suggest, Metcon is a form of workout designed specifically with the goal of helping you to strengthen your metabolism in order to improve your energy efficiency, resting metabolic rate, and generally your ability to turn food into usable energy. The aforementioned fartlek example that challenges you to start running again each time your heart rate reaches 70% can also be considered an example of Metcon, as this is improving your ability to clear your blood of metabolites and lactate, as well as your ability to recover quickly back to a steady resting heart rate. This is a good example of Metcon, as well as a form of zone training. If you get the right fitness tracker, then this can actually be used to alert you once your heart rate reaches specific zones, saving you from constantly having to check your wrist every minute or so. More often though, the term Metcon is used to describe short, focused bursts of high-intensity activity with a minimum amount of rest in between. A good example is the ladder workout, which involves performing 10 good reps of a given exercise, such as pull-ups or clapping exercises, resting for 30 seconds, and then performing 9 reps. You keep going until you reach one repetition, at which point the challenge has ended. The circuit routines we'll look at in the next video can also be considered examples of Metcons. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.